enjoy painting so much. A lot of people send me photographs and I can do paintings off the photographs. And these are similar to what I do. In a realism style, this was actually a boat that was out in the Groundhog Day storm in 1976. And the boat was taking on water and they thought it was going to sink. So a fisherman actually took a photograph off a fishing boat. He sent it to me and I actually depicted this stormy sea. And it's, um, so it's actually happened. Another example of my realism painting is this beautiful autumn moment. Autumn moment is an example of a painting done in realism style. There are dozens of glazes of color that go into each of my paintings. For example, the rustic ochre color grass in the background to the hundreds of rocks and pebbles that cover the beach. The fish jumps out of the cool water, teasing the kids as they watch, with fishing rod and net in hand, knowing the big one got away again. This painting news is a statement about how news is so negative and has taken over our lives. If you notice, everyone is looking at news of some kind. The girl on the computer is reading current headlines. The lady checks for the latest tragedies. The man beside her, perhaps looking for familiar names in the obituaries. The people in the building track an impending storm. Even the man praying for guidance finds the minister caught up in everyday events. You'll see the buildings are stylized as a graph depicting the rise and fall of stock markets and the crack in the foundation represents monetary instability. Note the man throwing the papers out the window represents his lost dreams of financial success. The painting contains several warning signs such as the tank of water representing pollution and the depleting water levels while the skull and crossbones and hourglass images represent the media portrayal of unavoidable ill fate. We simply cannot deny the negative effect of the news. This is Mexico. It's called Balcony. One of the nicest things about being an artist is that you can paint on your location which is great because that means anything and every time you see some beautiful thing you want to paint, it's there. This is called Shadow of the Past and the painting speaks for itself. It's a shadow of my father's past um, when he was so strong back then and then when he's frail and I really think it has a strong meaning to me and the people that see the painting. I think it's really important as artists to have many different styles of painting, and one of my favorite is abstract. About 10 years ago, I started doing meditation on a regular basis, and I found that I could see the world in a totally different light, in a three-dimensional form, as well as feeling the energies. Um, this painting was in Arizona, and I could feel the energy of the mountains, and, and of the valley, and of the sun, and it just it created a beautiful masterpiece, and I really think it's important when you do see an area that's beautiful to the eye, you can also close your eyes and feel that energy in the presence of where you are. We're talking about energy that I put in my paintings and the life force that I really feel that each painting of mine has. And one of my favorite paintings is Machu Picchu. It's called The Lost City. And The Lost City is one of the seven wonders of the world. And you can tell by when you stand there the energy is more powerful and more inspirational than any place on earth that I've been. I think it's very important for us all to appreciate places like this. And I was very blessed to be able to capture some of that history on the paintings. Another one of my favorite paintings is called Radiance. I painted it because I needed to do something that had to do with Mother Nature, plus incorporated in an abstract form. To me, this is the tree. This is the roots going into the ground. This is the water coming up from Mother Earth right into the sky. Of course, its branches expand into the universe. It's a very, very powerful, powerful painting with the rays and the energy coming from the center of the tree. Another example of some of my realism paintings is Cape for Shoe Light. The Cape for Shoe Light is 10 kilometers from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia and sits 37 meters above sea level. 
This pencil-shaped lighthouse design is very rare in Canada. These historic lighthouses are so important to the ships that use them, both as landmarks and for preventing them from crashing into the shore. Hundreds of tourists come to Nova Scotia to seek out these magnificent structures, but they do need to be maintained. This Cape for Shoe light is standing mainly because of a dedicated group of volunteers that call themselves Friends of the Yarmouth Light Society, and any donations would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for taking this tour with me, and I hope you saw something you liked. As you know, owning original artwork is a huge trend, and I would be so pleased if you owned an Anne Clo original painting. Whether you like abstract, realism, land or seascapes, email me at annemarie underscore at yahoo.ca and let's talk about bringing some beauty into your life.